Howdy y'all, Dev here, back from vacation. I'm sorry, that's a horrible Texas accent. Uh, if you can't tell, I went on vacation. Uh, I got this, this awesome rad shirt. Well, you can read it for yourself. Uh, <laughs> I picked this, this awesome hat up as well a few weeks back. I figured, hey, what the hell, may as well. Uh, but back from vacation, was in Austin for about a week. Saw so, uh, my best friend as well as a few other people that I haven't got to see in quite a while, quite a while. So. Went out there, relaxed, had some uh, some 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 really wonderful uh, experiences out there. Got to see some really cool stuff. I don't really get to see too often here in Arizona, probably because I'm inside all the time doing this <laughs> or working or what have you. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of kind of beat up from from vacation there. So uh, I I don't know what I did to my eardrum, but I was in this like spring. Okay, I might have a picture of it maybe on my phone. I'll see if I can throw it on the video. But I, I was at this like natural spring, uh, natural spring. Gosh, natural spring in Austin uh, called I think it's Barton Springs. If if you're in the in the Austin area, you might know what I'm talking about. But it's it goes real deep, kind of where the actual water the spring is, if you will, um, where it comes out from. Right. And so I went kind of deep, and I like my 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 right ear just exploded, right? I was just swimming, checking out all this cool stuff underwater with these goggles on, and my right ear just, poof, just water like flowed and rushed into there. So I can't hear out of my right ear right now. Like it's just real muffled, and it's just been it's just been a really unfortunate and horrible experience. And that happened like a couple days into my vacation. So that's how my vacation was. Fun otherwise, had an excellent time. Really glad I got to do, got to go do it. But wanted to wanted to get back in the swing of things, talk about a few things. Uh, but it popped in my mind. I had to take a bunch of stuff on an airplane, and uh, it seemed appropriate now that I'm actually home and doing videos, trying to play catch up. I, I owe you guys a couple of videos, I think. <laughs> um, it, it dawned on me. I mean, maybe you can tell here now, but I'm running kind of low on juice. I mean, in several devices, right? just all over the place. Uh, it's it's time for cleaning. So I've been promising making this cleaning video. I figure, hey, maybe it's about time I make that video, huh? <laughs> so today's video, we're not gonna be doing much of a review. We're just gonna be talking about cleaning your ish. It's time to finally tackle how to clean this guy, okay? How to clean the style, your C4, C5, right? Your, your top fills. Um, and this one, mind you, is a, a not, the wicks are non-replaceable in this, so this one is a little bit more tricky. How, how to clean your, your dripping atomizers, right? Your, your, your precious, precious dripping atomizers, your, again, same style as this, but your EVODs, things like that. Uh, cardamizers as well. I had it lying around here somewhere. I've already lost it, but um, yeah, we're going to get into that today. Um, just a, a, a heads up. A few things you will need, as I'm sure you'll see here soon when I go downstairs to do actually start the cleaning of all this stuff. I'm just going to lump all this stuff in together. So if you find something in here that I missed or maybe that you, you want to see how to clean, um, let me know, please. But you will need, this is, this is just like a little you know, like a, like a bathroom holder thing. This is just what I use. It, it, I put cotton swabs in here most of the time. Uh, but this is, you just need like a cup, something you're not going to need for, you know, maybe the night, a, a day, if you will, a full 24 hours ish. Um, and this is the other thing. This is the cheapest, shittiest vodka I could possibly find at Walmart. Let's, let's have a taste, shall we? So we can see how god awful this really is. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's real bad. That's like nail polish remover vodka. Whew. I don't think I need to drink anymore, especially after the time I just had in Austin. But uh, <laughs> you will need some some form of alcohol. You can use uh, you can use water on this stuff. I don't recommend it. Uh, it just doesn't get in there and clean as well as it as as it could, um, especially not in comparison to something like vodka or even for that matter. You can use. And I say this very, very, uh, very skeptically, if you will, um, and, and more, more so in a sense, I, I don't recommend this at all, but you can use 97%, I believe it is, uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol to clean these things um, that, we'll, that we'll be talking about here soon. But 
I really recommend screw all that get yourself some grain alcohol okay just some normal vodka the cheapest stuff you can find at Walmart this was like three dollars okay the reason I, I don't recommend using the isopropyl alcohol is just honestly I don't I don't know I don't know what that turns into when you vape it obviously it's gonna dry out and whatever you use it in but I don't know just I guess a personal personal kind of kind of fear if you will I don't know what that does when it's mixed with juice or anything like that I imagine not much to be honest but I I just don't use it so let's just leave it at that shall we um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drag y'all downstairs y'all yeah, get it y'all see yeah, yeah, yeah making that connection all right uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drag y'all downstairs with me and uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get to cleaning some stuff uh, some of the stuff I'm not gonna lie I'll show you how to clean it, but I'm I'm honestly just going to replace a couple atomizer heads because I don't feel like cleaning them. To be completely honest, I don't I don't care about some of these things. I don't want to have to go through the time it takes to clean them. So screw it, you know. But yeah, let's let's head downstairs. I will see you momentarily. Hello, Internet Land. All right, so we're back. I'm sure my face is blurry. Regardless. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try this anyway. So this is my sink. It's disgusting, and I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> forgive me. I've been gone for a week. I don't. I can't take any blame for this. This is totally not my doing. Uh, <laughs> so um, let's get right into it, shall we? Um, we're gonna do the easy things first. So what? As I as I suggested earlier, what you're gonna need um, to clear to clean some of this stuff. I'm not going to I'm not going to go too super in depth with this. I just want people to kind of understand the general concept here. So what what I have is a Finiac tank right here and you can see it's got it's got a little bit of juice in there, right? But this is something that I I brought all the stuff I didn't really care if I lost while I was on vacation. So it's not the best juice to begin with. I'm really not too concerned what uh what what is left in in here. So this this is a Finiac tank, as I said. Uh, this is just a, uh, uh, I believe it's Pyrex with plastic end caps. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this cartomizer out of here and just as it is, literally, we take it and totally miss and dump it in the garbage disposal. Let's see if I can take my hand off while I'm down here, huh? Wow, so that is what you don't do, um, just by the way. You remember what I said in all my other videos about dropping things? Yeah, don't do as I do, do as I say. So maybe I can catch my hand being taken off on camera here. So all I'm doing is, I'm, <laughs> Jesus, I'm dropping this thing straight into my, uh, you know, my, my receptacle, my glass. Okay, we're just gonna set that aside. These parts, however, this, all I do, God, I bet that's so loud. I just take some warm water, right? La 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 la. Just rinse it out as, as best I can until I'm comfortable. And, oh yeah, what do you think of that? Get that clean, mmm, girl. So, just like that. that. That friggin' simple. So this is all washed off, right? You could take it a step further and rinse it out with, you know, with uh, with soap and water, etc. But honestly, all I do is just get these nice and clean. Get them. I, I like to do it by feel, and you can maybe hear. Yeah, that's an accurate representation, isn't it? <laughs> um, I just like to do it by feel, so I don't feel any like you know juice just sticking on the side there, making my finger all slick or anything like that. That, as far as I am concerned, is good enough to clean, uh, or, or good good enough good enough for me to use uh, again. So I'm gonna take all this and set it aside and all I do with this, uh, I generally, cause I'm, I'm probably gonna use this in the next, you know, six hours when I'm done recording videos. <laughs> uh, but normally I would be using it within the next 10 minutes after I've, I've filled it. I would go get another cartomizer, pop it in here, right? And uh, uh, dump my juice in there and be, be ready to go. But just dry it off a bit and I'm just gonna set this to the side, okay? Don't matter how you set it up. I'm just gonna set it off to the side, let it dry for a little while. Um, these guys, your EVODs, okay? God, I hope I'm even in the shot for any of this. <laughs> in case I missed some, all I did was clean this guy. Ho hopefully I didn't miss any of that, whatever. We'll see in the, uh, the end result there. But this thing, 
So you take it off. Um, this EVOD, this is a, a bottom fill, right? So this bottom portion here screws off, right? And then you've got your actual atomizer head and you know where, where your where your juice goes, okay? Try not to be in the, the light there. So real easy. This again, hot wire. There we go. So this guy, I've already got the atomizer out here. So all I'm gonna do is just cleaning this thing up, taking all the juice out, right? Pretty simple. Normally what I like to do with these is uh sorry, nor normally what I like to do with these is take a cotton swab, like a you know, a q tip, and get it down around on the insides of there and just clean out all the water that I can that I put in there. Pretty simple. Just wash it out with water. Real easy. This I'm just gonna set. I'm going to set this way on a paper towel upright to let dry. I, again, like I said, I, I would typically go and uh, I would typically go and take a Q-tip and get down in there as deep as I could and clean it all out. So the second portion, this is your your bottom, um, the uh, the base and the actual atomizer head here. So these these pieces unscrew, maybe if I'm not a weakling. These pieces unscrew. Okay. Yeah, they do when you have a decent grip. So, let's see if I can catch this. This guy right here, I'm sorry, this is probably kind of blurry, but this thing right here, this top piece, it literally just unscrews. That simple. It screws right back in there. Real, real easy. So, you just unscrew this top piece, okay? Just like that. And this thing, this top piece, Again, rinse it out with water. Real simple, right? Um, be more thorough than I am, obviously. Clean these thoroughly, um, but I'm just trying to get through these nice and quick since I'm doing several of them. Uh, but from here, derp, from here, this top post will actually separate from this bottom piece here, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm just gonna apply pressure. I'm gonna hold the bottom and apply pressure in any direction, okay? till this top post actually pops off. So as you can see, I, I'll slide this, this rubber, uh, rubber um, little seal that they've got on here and you can just literally fling it across the room just like that. But what you get is this top piece, okay? It, it exposes the coil that's in there. Now with these style, these EVODs, let me go pick that up and yell at the camera. Um, with, these, with these EVODs, They've got two flavor wicks on top, so I missed a step, I'm sorry. Uh, before you take this off, but just to illustrate the point, these pieces just snap into place. Super simple as you're seeing. Um, they just pop right back together, okay? But generally, once you pull this out, all I do, take some water, and I just run the atomizer, or run the water through the atomizer, and that's it. I do this for maybe two, three minutes or so, just get it nice and nice and wet. Do it from both sides, right? Nice and wet. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> get it. Just get you know water flowing through it. If it were really clogged up, you'll notice the the water would kind of it would kind of dribble out of either end instead of being a nice steady flow. So this one's not so bad, obviously. This is probably reusable, which is what I'm going to do with these. It obviously does uh, the whole point of this. Um, by the way, you, you would want to clean this when you're when you're wanting to change a juice, right? Or when uh, you're getting crappy flavor from your your device, whether it be your Evod or your Kanger um, Kanger Tech uh, Pro Tank Two, right? So, and just to illustrate the point, if I may, I'm not going to show this one on camera because it's literally the exact same thing. This is the Pro Tank Two. So all, all you do with this, you screw the bottom piece off, the, that base that's there, okay? So you've got your base, and you'll notice, oh my gosh, they're identical. They're the exact same thing. So cleaning method for both of these, just by the way, anything that uses this style atomizer head, obviously the method works the same on all of them. Nothing special that needs to be done differently. So now that you've rinsed this out, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to pop that, that top post off again, and you'll notice, you might be able to see, I hope, um, you'll notice it's a little more white looking in there. It's not so dirty looking, right? We wash some of that juice off, it's not so bad looking. So, 
what I'm going to do here, there's these two little wicks right on top here, okay? These, they pop right off, okay? And that exposes the coil that's in there. So right in there is the actual coil. These two top wicks, you need to save. Set those aside to dry, and all I do is take a paper towel and just, you know, squish them with the paper towel, get them super nice and dry as, as you can. Don't worry too much about it being uh, as dry as humanly possible. Some videos you're going to see are going to tell you that it's got to be completely dry. I, I, I personally haven't experienced that. All I do is just dry them off with a paper towel um, and good to go. We'll chuck them back on there when we're done here. But this one I'm probably going to need to fix my zoom. So give me just a moment here. Let me see if I can do that for you. Derp, derp, derp. Can I do that? Is that possible? Maybe I should set it to another setting. Well, whatever. We're just going to have to deal here, aren't we? All right. Forgive the dishes. I apologize. I'm hoping you can see in there, but there's a coil in there, okay? Even if you can't. There's a, a coil that's in there that is holding what potentially is causing that burnt flavor. So all I'm going to do here is put the... I'm going to screw the atomizer back into the base right without it uh without the top on okay with the two flavor wicks off very important that they're out and off the actual atomizer okay so you got that and you're going to take your device screw your uh, make sure this is all clean too like i did not make sure there's no water or anything like that in there so all you're going to do is take your your atomizer base and just by the way with this i'm doing this quickly I know, but uh, with this, let this sit, dry it off as best you can with a paper towel, but let this sit about 10 minutes or so before you go to do what I'm about to do. This is called the dry burn, and I'm doing this, you can do this on any device that's got variable voltage, but it's ideal with something that's variable voltage, variable wattage. You want to set it to the lowest setting it can possibly be at. This is my EGOC twist, and I've got it set all the way down to 3.2 volts, okay? So all I'm going to do is maybe if you can hear that, you might be able to see that kind of nastiness that's coming off of it there, right? That, that nasty, smoky looking stuff. So all I'm doing is I'm pressing the button for about three seconds at a time, letting off, pressing again. And we'll do this repeatedly until we start to get a glow on our coils, like so. So all I'm doing is, it's called dry burning. I'm dry burning anything on those coils and on that wick that's just been sitting there, kicking it, making a gross, gross taste or, or poor performance or whatever have you, uh, or you know, switching flavors, whatever it might be, anything left over that we don't want, that's what we're getting rid of right now. So I'm just getting that coil nice and hot and you see how nice and glowing that is there? That's what you're looking for. All the coils light up, right? They're all nice and red. I don't have any weird, uh, any weird uh, smoke coming off it anymore. And if you smell it, if you just smell it, you should only get a faint, faint smell of what flavor used to be there, right? And do keep in mind, this thing, it'll get kind of hot while you're doing this. Obviously, you're just exposing uh, heat to the, the metal, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to carry a little heat. Just be careful. Don't burn yourself or anything like that. Hi, hard, hard to do that unless you're just you know, sticking your friggin' hand in there, but... I would hate for someone to, to go through excruciating pain for no reason. So this is good. This is officially clean as far as I'm concerned. So all I do after that, this is all, all ready to go, right? I've got it all nice and dry burned. Um, you can let this cool down for a minute or two or just blow on it. And uh, you're welcome to blow on it too if it's, if it's making a lot of smoke while you're, or, or you know what I mean, if a lot of vapor is coming off here from whatever carbon buildup is on here, feel free, just blow on it. Um, blow it away from me if you don't want to smell it. it. It helps keep the device cool as well. Just gets that stuff off of there quicker. Helps you. Helps you um, get all that all that gunk and garbage and nastiness you're you're trying to eliminate and not vape. But all you do, you take your. Sorry, I'm not showing this very well. Uh, you take your your flavor wicks and you stick them right back in the middle, as dead center as you possibly can. Again, and you take your base. Okay, so. I just took those flavor wicks. You notice how we can't see that coil anymore? I took those flavor wicks and put them back on there. And all I'm going to do here is, again, replace 
the actual top post. And normally you'll feel these like click. You'll hear them sometimes, but you can also feel them pop back into place. It shouldn't be all you know loosey goosey or anything like that, but it should pop right back into place. And then if your rubber seal was up, just make sure you push it down again, right? Just like that. Replaced, cleaned, ready to fill. After you've got this all dried out, right? You just fill this sucker up right down the side there until your uh, your window is full all the way up to that center airway post there. And you just screw this sucker right back on there. Obviously not that way because that would leak juice everywhere, but you screw this back on top of there, you're friggin' set. Done and done, that simple. Okay, now onto the easier stuff. Uh, this is your dripping atomizers. If you, I'm not sure you can see in there very well, but maybe kind of. Down in there is there's no stuffing, right? It's, it, there, there's a small, small amount on the sides there, but there's no, it's not filled with, you know, that, that kind of cottony stuffing that most, like, cartomizers are filled with. Um, this, here, maybe I can show you uh, what the difference is there. So one has, all the way up to the top there, there's stuffing, like, right up to the top. And you'll notice they are different in size, obviously, right? But one has stuffing up to the top, the other does not. It's at the bottom there. But this thing, it's got some brown buildup on it. This is what I use for tasting, ju testing juices. Both of these suckers, right in there. Uh, with that, these guys, you take your cheapo vodka, you look in there, no matter, you can fill this up as much as you want, right? You just dump some vodka in there. Now this, I know this seems ridiculous, but that's it. You let that sit for about a night, okay? When you come back, any nastiness that's in there, um, you're gonna you're gonna see is actually gonna be in in the vodka when you pull it out. And what I like to do is just kind of scoop up. So I take the uh, the cartomizer or whatever, the atomizer, whatever it is you're cleaning in the vodka. I like to stick it down in there this way, okay? <laughs> stick it down in there that way. Uh, I like to put it down in there and kind of scoop up some of the vodka and just let it run out, right? So I'm just running vodka through here just trying to clean out as much as I can. I just let that sit. I do that with anything I put in here. And then that sits overnight. The next day I come back, oh, hooray, it's all clean, right? If I can get it out. So that's all clean. Let's just pretend like this sat for a night. After that, I take a paper towel, like so, and I just hold the atomizer like that, and I put my other end like that, and I just blow through the atomizer. Just just like that. Release it, right? Just blow any of that crap that's in there out. Um, let it dry for, you know, maybe a few hours after you've taken it out and you've blown it out and it's good to use again. Test it, make sure it works, etc. cetera. Uh, but that's a clean atomizer. You're, you're officially set and done. These, I'm not gonna get too much into this one. It's not a replaceable head. This literally, this top portion screws off here and plus I'm about to hit my awesome 20 minute mark, hooray. <laughs> uh, this, you literally, I'm, there's really not much to this. You can use vodka, I would suggest, but let's just say you're on, on, a, on a, but, a time limit here. You fill this with water, shake it out, and ta friggin' da, just rinse it out as best as you can. You can't really dry burn these because you can't get in there to take this apart. Other ones, you can. You can take this whole thing apart and dry burn this properly, just like I did the other one. You get to that coil whatever way you need to. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to mention it in other videos. I'll try and make sure I get those done um, in like the Eichler 16. This is, it's the same style, CE style uh, atomizer, but it's, it can be taken apart with replaceable heads and, and actually dry burned. So just keep that in mind. Um, the, the same dry burn technique applies to uh, the Eichler 30 as well. So. That's pretty much that. Um, your, your Kanger, obviously, I sh you've, if you watch my review, you know this all comes apart. Just rinse it out with water. Really, really simple. Nothing too crazy, uh, but that is that. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up before I get cut off. Um, let's go back to the normal view so we can stop staring at my awful, awful sink. And yeah, I will see you momentarily. Woo, all right. So, that's that. There's how you clean some stuff. Uh, I know, I, I honestly, I feel like that may have been a little rushed. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see how it comes out. You know, hey, 
Uh, if anyone has questions about how to clean anything at all, please let me know. Um, I'd be happy to put it on video, at least get it out there so you can see if there's anything I missed or anything like that at all. Um, would be would like to see people save money. Obviously, you're, you're, if you're quitting smoking and you're getting into this, the idea is to be able to clean things like this, you know what I mean? Save yourself a little cash. So um, I want to make sure people know how they, they can how they can get to that end goal, how they can start saving them dollar dollar bills, y'all. Again, with the y'all. Oh, God, I hate y'all. <laughs> Not y'all. I hate the word y'all. It just drives me nuts. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um... I'm gonna I'm gonna refill something here because everything I have is now dismantled and needs to be cleaned or uh, <laughs> needs to be refilled. Uh, but um, I hope that wasn't too rushed. I hope you at least get the general idea. I do want to say though, um, I'm not gonna lie. With these, these I I rebuilt them. Um, I'll cover that in another video, to be honest. But. Uh, these, what I normally do is I keep the, the metal head and I remove the coils and I rebuild the coils in the wick myself and they perform a little bit better. Uh, but if I'm being super lazy like I am right now, I just don't feel like dealing with that. All I'm doing, you can buy like five packs of these suckers for like five to six bucks, maybe a little more depending on where you're getting them from. But you can get five of these atomizer heads and literally if you don't feel like screwing with it, if you don't feel like cleaning, if, if it's not an issue to you um, to have a desire to uh, clean things, then just screw it, right? Literally. In fact, screw it. Screw a new one right into that base after you've washed it out. Make sure there's you know nothing left over in there or anything crazy like that, but just screw a new one in there. This is why I like these things so much. You screw a new atomizer head in, you're ready to go. So if you don't want to deal with all the cleaning aspect of it, you don't have to. But some of us are trying to save some coin, you know? I got bills to pay, dog. I got mouth to feed. <laughs> uh, let me let me refill this real quick. So that's that for those. The Like I say, the, uh, the Kanger Protec... Um, Kanger Tech Pro Tank 2 is pretty pretty easy to clean. I'm totally going to spill this everywhere. I know it, but let's see how my skills are today. They are on point. Rocking. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that off there. That seems like an appropriate place. Uh, but these ones, clean if you like. Dry burn definitely will uh, It'll help extend the life of these. You don't have to keep replacing heads, things like that. Your cardamizers, I just chuck them, honestly. I know I said that earlier, but I just chuck them. I see no... That one, those are a little bit too much effort for me. Uh, it's just it, the, the whole, you know, wait a day kind of thing, hang out and, you know, clean it overnight and vodka and all that stuff. It's just, it's just not something I want to do. You know, I'd rather buy, uh, I can get five, ten, five packs of uh, 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 510 Bogue Cardamizers, a pack of five of them for, you know, again, five to seven dollars or ten dollars at the worst, uh, depending on where you get them from. So, to me, I don't know. Most of this stuff, if 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 you want to save some money, then then do. But if not, again, with the cardamizers, I just chuck them. As soon I use them for a few days until they start tasting funky, and just dip them uh, in the trash can. I just don't dunk them, not dip them. Christ. Um, anything else though, like your dripping atomizer, the little short black one I had, it's now cleaning. Um, those, that, again, I just rinse out with, with the vodka, just do that over and over, let it sit for a day, blow it out, let it dry, go back to using it, it's, it's, it works like a champ. So, those, obviously, you want to save. Generally, one of those atomizers costs you like $5. On the high end, they can cost up to $20. So, definitely an investment you want to take care of and regularly clean. Um, what else, what else, what else? The EVODs, uh, yeah, same thing as the, the... Uh, uh, Pro Tank 2, these guys, these little CE4s, I have major issues with these. The iClear 16 has changed the game a little bit for me as, as far as my opinion on these, but the fact that I can't dry burn this easily, I guess is what I'll say, I can't easily take this apart and dry burn this and clean it, you can get some good use out of this, don't get me wrong. Uh, but for that reason that they're just a little bit harder to clean, I don't I don't care for them. If you are going to clean these out, I would suggest using the vodka. Just let it sit again, um, fill it up as much as you can, or just dunk it in there in the uh, in you know your 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 cleaning glass, if you will, with all the other stuff you're cleaning, and uh, 
just let it sit for a day and then just, you know, <laughs> just, you know, let it, uh, let it, you know, drain it all out, let it dry and you're good to go. So, uh, I think, I think that is, I think that is all I have. I'm going to be doing a few videos today. I hope we're going to see how it turns out, but I'm going to try and get a couple out tonight. Um, I got, I got some fun stuff for the next video. If you're, if you're wanting to stick around, I, this is all my mail. There's more down there and here and everywhere of stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm going to open up on camera because honestly, I don't remember what the F it is anymore. <laughs> so I don't remember what I ordered. I have no clue. So we're going to find out. But thank you so much for watching. Any questions, please. My email uh, is in a picture at the end if you never make it that far. Any questions, hit me up. Uh, leave a comment. Um, anything you need at all. I mean, even if you just want to say, hey, I love you. I'm your biggest fan. I would love so much to hear that if I have fans out there. You see that? That's seduction right there. All right, guys. Have a good one. I will see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching.